And then there was one game left in day one of the 2023 Western District Tournament here in the single A, and it features your Evanston Outlaws taking on the Level Mustangs. Good evening, everybody, from Cali, Wyoming. This is Elon Olive being joined shortly by Mr. Aaron Poling in the Union Broadcast booth. And, man, it has been a tournament, and we will recap what you have missed when we come back on the scene set brought to you today by El Paso All-American and Mexican Restaurant. You're tuned in to the pregame show brought to you by Big Country Properties. Bobby Dolezal, we make it happen, 307-72-3556. You're tuned in to First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Outlaw Baseball live on MyLocalRadio.com and on the radio at K9. Buying or selling is a simple process if you're working with the right real estate agent. This is Bobby Dalzal, broker with Big Country Properties. We have agents serving both Lincoln and Uinta counties that can assist you with all of your real estate needs. We are the top listing and selling brokerage in the Bridger Valley and strive to be honest, hardworking, and thorough. Whether buying or selling, we make it happen. Call us today at Big Country Properties, 307-782-3556. Get back to feeling your best with Evanston Regional Hospital Physical Therapy. If you find yourself struggling with pain or limited mobility in your everyday life, your recovery starts here. With a personalized treatment plan just for you, our experienced physical therapists will help you every step of the way to reach your goals and get back to doing what you love. Call us today to schedule an appointment. Evanston Regional Hospital, helping you get your life back. The perfect mix of different ingredients can create the most delicious creation. Successful people have the ability to bring many different individuals together who work, collaborate, show kindness, use problem-solving skills, and include each individual's talents and gifts to create new inventions, compose beautiful music, and find ways to make the world a better place. At Uinta County School District Number 1, we work together every day to promote student success. Uinta County School District Number 1, Pathway to Excellence. Fresh and flavorful ingredients are what makes the best restaurants great. At El Paso All-American and Mexican Restaurant, each entree is prepared with only the freshest and tastiest ingredients. The menu includes everything from tacos to steak, fresh fruit waffles to omelets, and mouth-watering burgers to sandwiches. Come in and enjoy a meal today at the new El Paso All-American and Mexican Restaurant inside the Log Cabin on Bear River Drive. Welcome back to the Union Broadcast booth. It's game number one of the postseason, but game number four of the tournament. As we go into our scene set today, brought to you by El Paso All-American and Mexican Restaurant. El Paso, the best in the West. And it all got started at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock? 11.30? I can't remember off the top of my head, Aaron. That's yeah, somewhere in there. And Cody won 12 to nothing, sending Rollins to a loser out game against the loser of Lander and Green River. Well, the Knights, Ben Lale's crew came alive, winning that one 16 to four. And then we just wrapped up that loser out game between the Rollins Generals and the Lander Legends. And the Lander Legends are victorious 24 to eight, I believe was the final score off the top of my head. So what that means, is the winner of this game will play PAL tomorrow at 2 o'clock. The loser of this game will play... The loser of the Green River Cody matchup. That will be at 4, uh, 4 or 30. So that's how it sets up. If Evanston wins tonight, they'll play tomorrow at 2 o'clock. If they lose, they will play in a, an elimination game against the loser of Green River and Cody at 4.30. And there's other situations that could happen if Evanston wins, but that's as far as we're going. So the next game for the Outlaws will either be at 4, uh, 4.30 tomorrow with a loss, with a win. They're playing at 2 o'clock against Powell. Yeah, so just come out and win. That's the easiest yeah. way to do this is just win ball games. And I'm sure that's what Evanston has in mind. That's how they want to do this. However, level the host team of the tournament. You know they want a big showing here in front of their home crowd. That's your scene set today, brought to you by El Paso All-American Mexican Restaurant. El Paso, the best in the West. We're going to step aside here on a blustery evening in Cali. 
When we come back, we'll have more of our pregame show brought to you by Big Country Properties and Bobby Dozel on a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Outlaw Baseball Live on MyLocalRadio.com and KNY. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. Napa know-how isn't just for guys like this. Power tools. Every driver deserves quality parts. Practical and cool. So you can do it yourself with Napa Auto Parts or get it done for you at a Napa Auto Care Center. Which means Napa know-how is for you, karaoke car lady. And never popped a hood guy? I can pop a hood. You too, Mr. Park a mile yeah. away. Oh yeah. Do it yourself or have it done for you. That's Napa know-how. Napa know-how. Covalos, your one-stop farm and auto shop. Helping young people grow into productive adults is like putting a puzzle together. Each aspect of life is equal to one puzzle piece. Restful sleep, a healthy breakfast, a positive experience at home before school sets the tone for the whole day. Positive student interaction with teachers, district staff, coaches, and peers all add to the puzzle. At Uinta County School District Number 6, we work hard to make each puzzle piece meaningful and powerful for every student. By working together, we can help every student grow into a masterpiece. It's a great day to be an eagle. Hey there, I'm Jake Major, your local Medicare and Insurance Benefits Advisor for the Bullock Agency of Wyoming. With over 25 years of experience protecting families in rural America, we understand the importance of having affordable insurance coverage. Whether you're searching for extra coverage or looking to understand and switch your Medicare options, I can help you find a range of top-rated insurance companies and tailor-made packages based on your needs. Call me, Jake Major, today at 307-209-4685, and let's discuss your insurance options. We're the Bullock Agency of Wyoming, when benefits matter. Welcome back to the Union Broadcast booth. Time for the Coach's pregame show brought to you by Jake Major with the Bullock Agency of Wyoming for when benefits matter. And uh, we didn't get a talk to co- talk chance to talk with Coach Small today, but uh, Aaron, judging from the last game that they had, uh, the last doubleheader, not the last game they had, the last game they had was a fun one in Rock Springs. That is going to go down in the history books in my memory. But the uh, last doubleheader they had against Green River, they split. Errors were the problem that plagued the Outlaws. If you're the Outlaws, it's postseason baseball. It's all about throwing strikes and playing good defense. Yeah, I mean, that could really be the key to the game for all seven mm-hmm. teams here. You got to play clean. You can't allow anything free. You got to got to force teams to earn their earn their way on base. If you know, if a kid gets a single, you can live with that, but if you walk them, it's real tough because you almost feel like you gave them that and you don't want to give them anything. That's also our keys to the game brought to you by Ellingford Brothers for all your cement, sand, and gravel needs. Contact the Ellingford Brothers, 307-79-1515. As we get set to meet the starting line, the uh, rosters for both of these teams brought to you by Varsity Inc. Get all your Red Devil gear in Varsity Inc. at downtown Evanston. Football season right around the corner. Opening day against Ben Lohman and K. Fackrell Stadium on Friday, August 25th. That should be a lot of fun. Absolutely. Here is the uh, uh, roster for the Outlaws. And really, for Evanston, they've got a lot of weapons. Braxton Bauer and, uh, of course, Gavin Oliver have been great at the plate. Also have to keep an eye on Walker Wilson, who will be your starting pitcher tonight. And for the level Mustangs, uh, Cash Wasimer, definitely someone to keep your eye on. Late Files, Tucker Jackson, he was our 307 Baseball Player of the Week not too long ago. Also keeping an eye on Owen Howe and Jack Farrow, as well as Halen Strom. So we are ready for the top of the first inning as we reset the Heritage Auto of Evanston scoreboard. First pitch from Walker Wilson, smacked into center field, caught and brought in by Ryder Wilson. One pitch, one out for was, the Outlaws. That was Carlos Rodriguez leading off for Lovell, followed by Cale Wright, Alex Hodges, Tucker Jackson, Leif Files, Beto Diaz-Rios, Cash Wasner, Jacob Bischoff, and Mason Moss. We will meet... Actually, let's do the defensive alignment for the Outlaws right now. From left to right, Rich, Oliver, Hoover, Bauer, Common, Wilson, and Clifton left to right in the outfield. This will now set the stage for Kale Wasimer. First pitch to Wasimer. Outside, one ball, no strikes. But, again, if you're the Outlaws, one pitch, one out. Pretty efficient for Walker Wilson to get started there. Yeah, heck of a jump from Ryder, too, out in center field. It's a good play. 
Swing and a miss for strike one. And now that we've gotten a chance to see all seven teams in the West, I would put Evanston's outfield up there in, in the top half for sure. Yeah, very good outfield, especially captained by Ryder Wilson. 1-1 one, one outside, two balls, one strike. This is Kale right at the plate. Manilo wearing, or excuse me, Lovell <laughs> wearing the black uniform, red numerals, Mustangs across the front with a kind of a white, a light white pinstripe, white outline. Evanston in their blue uniforms with the gray trim and the white numerals. Walker Wilson misses him on a five pitch walk and first man is on for Lovell. That's something that Evanston's gonna wanna keep in check is the walks. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you give up one here in the first inning, you have one out, so you get the next two batters out, you're gonna be in a good spot, but you don't wanna give up anything free. I'll bring up Alex Hedges, right-handed batter. Walked up to all eyes on me by uh, Tupac. Rocky Rondinelli would approve. <laughs> Wanted to give a shout out to Rocky Rondinelli, first pitch. Finds a zone, good looking pitch there from Walker for strike one. As the wind begins to blow here in Cali, it's really the windiest it's been all day. You and I have been here since 11.30. As Wilson comes set, throw back to first to check up on the runner, and he's back no problem. It's a good idea from Walker Wilson. You don't want Wright to think that you've you know lost track of him. He's got a decent lead over at first. This wind blowing directly in from center field. Pitch swing and gets under it, sends it into the infield, and Bauer makes catch for out number two, and that's kind of a sigh of relief if you've been watching the tournament all day because that very area has been a very deceptively hard spot to bring in pop flies all day. I'm not sure if it's something with the sky, but in the first four games today, pop flies in the infield have been an adventure, and Braxton Bauer, he thought he was camped underneath it, made a last-second adjustment, was able to make the play, though. Way to stay with it for Bauer. So Hedges pops out. I'll now set the stage for Tucker Jackson. Tucker Jackson playing center field today, batting cleanup. So if you're the outfield, you got to be ready. You don't put your uh, best singles hitter in the cleanup spot. First pitch misses to Jackson inside for ball one. The 1-0. One Swing and a fly ball into left field. Common tracking back, and it is down over the head of Ryder Wilson. Throws in. They're going to try to cut the throw off, but... Lovell strikes first on an RBI double by Tucker Jackson. Uh, it could be a good thing that the wind is blowing towards us because that ball was crushed to center field. So one run comes in and Lovell strikes first, runner on second with two down. Nearly a heck of a play though for Ryder Wilson. If you're the outlaws, you're fine. I mean, you give up one run. Uh, you, I don't think they expected to come in trying to score only one run, so. Two runs is absolutely doable, but you want to hold them here. You don't want the momentum to get away from you here in the first inning. Here's Leif Files. First pitch from Wilson. Breaking ball catches the top part of the zone. Good looking pitch there from Walker for strike one. It's a good little mix up pitch there as he's been fastball to all four of the first hitters so far besides from the batter Files. Pitch from Wilson, fastball in there for strike two, right down front street. And the good news for Evanston is when they played the double header against Lovell, the Mustangs did not see Walker Wilson as he actually started the game against uh, Powell the next day, the 0-2. Swing and a lazily boop blooper over to the shortstop, got Oliver at second, on to first, in time for out number three. So one run comes in on one hit, Outlaws trail by one, but they'll get their first crack at it when we come back after this. You're tuned in to a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Outlaw Baseball live on MyLocalRadio.com in Canaan. Buying or selling is a simple process if you're working with the right real estate agent. This is Bobby Dalzell, broker with Big Country Properties. We have agents serving both Lincoln and Uinta counties that can assist you with all of your real estate needs. We are the top listing and selling brokerage in the Bridger Valley and strive to be honest, hardworking, and thorough. Whether buying or selling, we make it happen. Call us today at Big Country Properties, 307-782-3556. At Why High, we are with you is more than just three simple words. It encompasses the principles we live by to serve our members and local communities. 
So if you're looking to keep your banking relationships local with a partner who will always be there for you, look to us. We're Why High. We're Wyoming. We're with you. Visit whyhigh.org to learn how you can be a part of something bigger today. All right, I stand corrected in game number two of that doubleheader. They did see Walker Wilson. He went three innings pitched, five hits, five runs, five earned, only two walks and two strikeouts. So not a bad first showing there for Walker Wilson. And, well, we got a second. Let's meet the starting lineup for the Evanston Outlaws. Ryder Wilson playing center, leads off. Walker Wilson play, pitching, batting second. Gavin Oliver playing sixth, batting third. Braxton Bauer playing first, batting fourth. Ryan Hoover batting fifth, playing second. Jackson Osborne batting sixth, catching. Breckenridge batting seventh, playing third. Brody Clifton batting eighth, playing right. And Damian Common batting last, playing left. Let's get that defensive alignment for the Mustangs of Lovell. Behind the plate is Cash Wozner. Files doing the pitching from left to right. It is Hodges, Rodriguez, right. Beto Diaz, Rios on the infield. From left to right in the outfield, Bischoff, Jackson, and Moss. Ryder Wilson, Walker Wilson, and Gavin Oliver will be the three due up for Coach Nick Small and the Evanston Outlaws. Down one nothing, but uh, this is their first chance to respond, and it's going to be big for the Outlaws to get something going here. Yeah, I mean, you gave up a double to their cleanup hitter who, you know, like I said, he doesn't bat cleanup because he hits singles. Yeah. That's exactly what he's there to do. Now you have your opportunity to do the same thing. I mean, one run for the Evanston Outlaws should not be insurmountable, so you can live with that. You don't have to get it all back in this inning, but it would be a great start for the Outlaws if they were able to come back and answer here in the bottom of the first inning. Here comes Ryder Wilson as he walks into the batter's box. Ooh, they are going to make the scoreboard a little confusing as they have. Uh -oh. They're putting the home score up for Lovell as Evanston Outlaws will serve as the home team, though, because they are the higher seed. Walker Wilson steps in. Blue alternate uniform for the Outlaws. First pitch from Leif Files. Swing and a fly ball into left field, and that is caught by the left fielder, Bischoff, for out number one. And much like Walker Wilson, one pitch, one out to start it out for the Lovell Mustangs. That was Walker Wilson. Walker Wilson now going to try to... Get things going for the Outlaws. One down. First pitch from Files. Takes it for a strike. It's not a bad take from Walker. That's on the outside corner. It's a great pitch from Files. A pitcher's pitch, and sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Files with the 0-1. Fastball down low. One ball, one strike. Teams, two teams split to begin the season as the Outlaws won the second game. The Mustangs won the first one. The 1-1 one, one on the way. Swing and a Woo! liner right back to the glove of Files. And if you're Walker Wilson, all you can do is tip your hat to that. Yeah, Files caught that in self-defense, and thankfully he did because that, that was close to the head. Here comes Gavin Oliver. Unfortunately, Walker becomes the is not the benefactor of that as he put a charge into that one. Gavin Oliver hit a home run here in the second game of that doubleheader. Well, wind's blowing out to center field. We'll see what happens here with Gavin. First pitch to Oliver. Swing and a miss for strike one. Didn't get cheated there. That's a good 0-0 hack for Gavin Oliver. Oliver, of course, with that American flag sleeve on his right arm. The pitch to the righty. Gets under that one, tries to foul it away, and does it over the concession stand, 0-2 count to Gavin. Files has been aggressive here. He is not wasting very many pitches. He's been efficient, he's been attacking. And looking to complete a 1-2-3 inning. Gavin Oliver looking to change that. Files, steps, kicks, and deals the 0-2. Swing and a miss at high heat. And the Outlaws go down in order after one. It's level one, Evanston nothing on the Heritage Chevrolet of Evanston scoreboard. We'll be back with inning number two after this. You're tuned in to a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Outlaw Baseball live on MyLocalRadio.com and K9.
I buckle up because there's been too many fatalities around our house where somebody would have survived if they'd been wearing their seatbelt. I definitely um, wear my seatbelt to keep him safe. I wear it just for safety. I buckle up because my mom makes me. I buckle up to set a good example for my kids and to make sure they stay safe. Getting home safe to my family. I buckle up because it keeps me safe. Go, Go Pumps, buckle up. <laughs> buckle up for life, Wyoming. The perfect mix of different ingredients can create the most delicious creation. Successful people have the ability to bring many different individuals together who work, collaborate, show kindness, use problem-solving skills, and include each individual's talents and gifts to create new inventions, compose beautiful music, and find ways to make the world a better place. At Uinta County School District Number 1, we work together every day to promote student success. Uinta County School District Number 1, Pathway to Excellence. Do something good for yourself. Give your home a new look. At Kazine's Furniture in Evanston, their friendly staff will help you make your home a peaceful and beautiful place to be. Comfortable furniture, appliances, artwork, lighting, and accessories work together to create an enjoyable and inviting atmosphere in your home. Make your living and sleeping space a wonderful place to be. With brands like Serta, Ashley, GE, and more, visit Kazine's Furniture at 941 Front Street in Evanston. Kazine's Ace and Furniture Fan Cam giving us a chance to highlight our fans from Evanston. Of course, it's a five and a half hour drive to Level from Evanston, so it's a full week trip as an 0-2 count fouled off by Beto Dios Rios to lead it off. Big thank you to Kazine's Ace and Furniture. Ace is placed with the helpful hardware folks. Top of the second 0-2 count to Beto Dios Rios, and he will foul off that 0-2 to stay alive. Cash Wazimer and Jacob Bischoff will be the next two to go here in the top of the second. 0-2 to Rios, another foul ball. It's a pretty good at bat from, from DS Rios. Making Walker Wilson work here. And the 0-2 again. Swing and a fly ball into center field. Ryder Wilson retreats back, makes grab for out number one. The wind took that one as Ryder camped out a few times and had to back pedal, back pedal, back pedal. Uh, the wind was a factor on the RBI double from right as that wind is going to play a huge factor in this game. It's blowing out. Here's the catcher, Cash Wassimer. As Walker comes set and the pitch. Swing and a miss at a fastball for strike one. Wilson now comes set again, and the 0-1. Down low and out, one ball, one strike. Evanston, the number two seed out of the Southwest, taking on level the number three seed out of the Northwest. Evanston lost the tiebreaker to Green River as both of them only lost two conference games. As that one's fouled away, one ball, two strikes to Cash Wassimer with one down, nobody on here in the top of the second. Outlaws trail, one nothing on the Heritage Auto of Evanston scoreboard. The one, two on the way. Missed outside, two balls, two strikes. It's a great one-two pitch. Just missed off the zone. Try to get the chase. Here's Walker Wilson, the strong righty with the ballerina count, 2-2. Two -two. Swing at one up high and fighting that one away. Foul into the Rocky Mountain High School field with the sprinklers fully on. It'll be a while until they get that one back. Yeah, that ball's done. <laughs> that thing is waterlogged. Next pitch misses and it's a full count to Cash Wassimer. Walker Wilson lets the arm hang, comes set, and the 3-2. Swing and another foul ball, and we'll do it all over again. Someone retreated over to the field, trying to figure out how they're gonna get that ball in a waterlogged lawn across the street. One down, 3-2, nobody on to Cash Wassimer. Wilson delivers, and it's a walk. Second walk of the game for Walker Wilson. So runner on, one down. That will bring up Jacob Bischoff. 
Yeah, I hope they uh, go ahead and throw that ball straight into the garbage because there's no way that can come back into play as they found it over there in the field behind us. Wilson checks the runner at first, now throws back to first. We've seen Walker Wilson with a good pickoff move before in this season, so not surprising that he is going to attempt that. Bischoff, I'm not sure if he's actually going to bunt, but he's a smart thing there squaring to bunt as he squares again. And shows bunt. Pulls it back for a strike, throw down to second, and they got him. No, they, oh, called, no, him they safe. called him safe. I was watching the wrong uh, blue shirt. So it's a strike. Tough break there for the Outlaws. Yep. Great move from Osborne, back picking there as yep. Bauer was at the base. That, that's another thing we've noticed now that we've seen every team in the West. Throw by Osborne to second, and they just – uh, bounce out and pass Gavin Oliver as the runner steals. But that's another thing. Along with the outfield, I would say Jackson Osborne is probably one of the top catchers in the West now from what we've seen. Yeah, Jackson Osborne grinds behind the plate. I mean, he's just every day for the Outlaws. And we can say that since we have watched every team in the West today. <laughs> <laughs> except Powell. Yeah, except Powell. Powell is, of course, that team that everybody has the bullseye on. Outlaws did get the better of them back at the Green River Tournament in a 4-3 Classic. Ball two up high. Two balls, one strike to Jacob Bischoff. Got a feeling if Powell does see Evanson again, swinging a miss for strike two, uh, they might have uh, some revenge on their mind. Yeah, I mean, when you're a good team and you lose to a team, you always want to beat them again. I mean, but every time you lose to a team, no matter who you are, you want to beat them. Powell di uh, did take the opening season doubleheader as a great stop by Osborne. For ball three. Three balls, two strikes. And if you are Walker Wilson, I think right now you just want to deliver a strike and trust your defense. Pitch. Inside and back-to-back -back walks for Walker Wilson. Had a base open. You don't push anyone over, but what that does is with one out, if they can't turn the double play, that turns it over the top of the order with an opportunity with bait runners on base. Here's Leif Files Into the batter's box, the pitcher. Sorry, that's Mason Moss, excuse me, the right fielder. Bottom of the order. First pitch. Outside, ball one. Osborne right there may have cost Walker a strike because he turned his glove over and tried to catch it underhand instead of keeping it firm and just planting it there. We talked about this in an earlier game. 1-0. Bounces off of the knee of Osborne, and the runner at second. Wasmer thought it was actually past him, thought about taking it off, but heads back to second. Two balls, no strikes. That's smart base running from Wasner there. If he goes to third, Osborne, as long as he makes an accurate throw, probably throws him out by about five steps. Osborne only a sophomore. So is Brecken Rich. The 2-0, up high, three balls, no strikes. And now it's going to be a red light for Moss. So a chance for Wilson to make a pitch here. The 3-0 finds the zone. And now Wilson, one pitch away from getting back into this at bat. Walker comes set, the 3-1. Swing and a foul ball, and it's a full count. It's a good job by Walker getting back into the count. Uh, we've seen it so many times at this level of baseball. It's a 3-0 count, and it's not guaranteed to be anything good for the batter, as it does kind of give the pitcher an opportunity to get back into it. The 3-2. Another foul ball. Two down, two on. one nothing level, but they're threatening with that runner at second. Cash Wasmer. Runner at first is Bischoff looking to take a lead. The 3 2. Walked him on the outside part, and the bases are loaded. So now, if you are Walker Wilson, you can't mess around with the zone anymore. You've got to just throw the ball and trust your defense. Brings up Carlos Rodriguez, who lined out his first at bat, but he lined out hard in that at bat. Win now blowing out towards center left field. First pitch to Rodriguez. Down in the dirt, good stop by Osborne, ball one.
Wilson comes set around the belt. And the 1-0. Up high, two balls, no strikes. I think Walker should take a step back, take a lap around the mound, take a deep breath. Doing pretty much that. Took his hat off, took a deep breath, reset because you got to come after him. Nowhere to put him. 2-0. Swing and a fly ball into shallow center field. Caught by Walker Wilson. And it's shallow enough that the runners aren't going to go anywhere. So the runner on third base broke for home instead of getting back to third to tag. And on a line drive like that, that is the difference between a sack fly and just a line out to the center fielder. As Rodriguez with two hard hit balls, nothing to show for him. Walker will, or Ryder Wilson with a great read in center field. And now that will bring up the number two man, Case uh, Wright. Still bases loaded, two down, first pitch. Inside for ball one. Do you want to throw a strike right here if you're Walker? You don't want to fall behind 2-0 again. Kale Wright, excuse me. Wilson comes set. The 1-0 with bases loaded. Swing and a miss for strike one. A little bit of home sabotage there as the uh, – <laughs> Tried to play it in his uh, back throw. <laughs> I would say the PA song came on right as the pitch was coming. The 2-1 on the way. Beautiful pitch there. Fastball right in the zone. Two balls, two strikes. One ball, two strikes, excuse me. Pitcher's count. Wilson trying to get out of this bases loaded jam. The one, two. Swing and a liner into right field. That's down. One run is going to come in as Brody Clifton throws that in, and it's 2 nothing level. It's a great job in the outfield from Clifton to get that ball in right away. That holds that runner at third base, and one run only comes in as a walk comes back to bite the Evanston Outlaws. That will bring up Alex Hodges. Popped out to the first baseman last time up. Base is loaded still. You've got right on first, Moss on second, Bischoff. 90 feet away at third base. Two down, one in for the Mustangs. Walker Wilson, the senior, delivers the first pitch. Swing and a pop-up into right field. Brody Clifton makes the catch for out number three on the run. And the Outlaws only allow one. Got to get some runs in now. Huge play from Clifton. 2 nothing. level on the Heritage Auto of Evanston scoreboard. We'll be right back after this on a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Outlaw Baseball live on MyLocalRadio.com and K9. At the Evanston Walmart, you'll find all the tools students need to succeed. Our team is committed to providing quality products and an excellent shopping experience. Stop in today. 125 North 2nd Street, Evanston. Walmart. Save money. Live better. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. Outlaws down two to nothing here in the bottom of the second. Wind blowing out to center field, so Evanston will be hitting into the wind with Braxton Bauer on deck. If you're Braxton Bauer, that wind blowing out, it's actually starting to blow towards left field now even better. You know, Braxton Bauer's strong enough. You get one up into that wind, who knows? I didn't think the double from uh, Tucker Jackson was hit as hard as it landed. So that wind is really playing a factor. As you get that one up there, that ball will travel probably about an extra 10, 15 feet right now just because of the wind. Outlaws looking for their first hit of the game, first base runner of the game, as they went down in order in the first as Lake Files has done a good job through one inning. Here in playoff baseball, Files now faces Bauer. First pitch to the strong right-hander. Swing and a foul ball from Braxton. Yeah, that wind's actually swirling. It's changing directions as it's blowing from either left, out towards left, out towards center, 
or out towards the gaps as it's kind of just swirling around. As we sit behind home plate, it feels like a tailwind right now. But it does kind of switch to cross, switch back. You're absolutely right about that. The 0-1 to Bauer. Swing and a fly ball into right center field. That's got a chance to get down. And Bauer rounds first, heads for second. Bauer looking for a leadoff double, and he's in. And he did exactly what we said. He got it up into that stream, and it landed in the right center field gap for a leadoff double. That's huge for the Evanston Outlaws offense here. Try to quell some of that momentum that Lovell has picked up. Here's Ryan Hoover, and usually you would think that the 3-4-5 part has done some damage, but there's been some games where that bottom part of the order has really got the Outlaws going. Hoover has been a part of that. He's actually one of the RBI leaders on the team. First pitch to Hoover, swing and a fly ball into center left field. That could be trouble, and that is caught by the center fielder, Tucker Jackson, it looked like, for out number one. So not only is that wind swirling in between pitches, but it's also swirling while the ball's in the air. Mm -hmm. As it looked like Tucker Jackson, that ball kind of exploded on him a little bit towards the end as he had to reach up and snag it. Good swing from Hoover, just unfortunately not a good result as it was chased down in the gap. Here comes Jackson Osborne, 333 batter with Braxton Bauer in scoring position. Pitch to Osborne. Swing and gets under that one, sends it in the infield. Lay Files in, that's going to drop. Lay Files and Chase Wright, miscommunication, and it drops down and Bauer reaches on the error. So if you watched the catcher right there, Cash Wozner, he took off back towards the dugout because he thought that's where that ball went, and the wind kind of blew that one back. I mean, it's it's not an easy go in the infield no. right now if that ball goes in the air. Breckenridge to go next. First pitch up high to the right-handed sophomore for ball one. It's a great take. Al Oz with the go-ahead run at the plate with one down. Files come set, the 1-0. Upstairs and in, two balls, no strikes to Rich. Good hitters count here. Find what you want in the spot that you want it, where you hit the ball the hardest, and take a rip. Files, ball behind the back, comes set around the belt. Throw back to second to try to get Bauer, and the ball is on the ground. He's back, no problem. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen Braxton Bauer steal third base. And if he didn't tag and try to go on that fly ball to left center field, I don't think he's going to try to steal. But they try a daylight play with the second baseman. 2-0 to Rich. Pitch from Files. Swing and a liner into shallow right field. Bauer's getting the, the go sign. Throw to second. Actually, they get tell Bauer to stop. And it's bases loaded for Brody Clifton. The right fielder Moss got to that ball really quickly. He broke right away, not anticipating that the second baseman was going to catch it. And by the time that ball bounced, Moss was there to catch it on one hop. And, you know, now it allows Clifton batting with the bases loaded. You get Clifton in common, you know, a couple opportunities to make something happen with one out here in the bottom of the second inning. With the top of the order in the hole. We'll see if they get there. First pitch to Clifton. Swing, and it pops that one up in to shallow right field. And that is caught by that was right. Every pop flies an adventure here today. I was going to say, that was an absolute adventure. I saw the first baseman go back, and I think the wind blew that to the second baseman. It's not a fun day to be an infielder with the ball in the air. It has, we don't have, uh, you know, the stat cast tracking on fly ball uh -huh. tracing, but it'd be interesting to see today as not a lot of straightforward fly balls. Here comes Damian Common. Just put this thing in the air and see what happens if you're Damian. First pitch to Common. Swing and a fly ball left field, and that is foul. Yeah, he ripped that one. That could, he straightens that thing out, and it's a two-run outlaw lead. Strike one to Common. Files now comes set. Bases loaded, two down. First pitch. Swing and a liner right at the second baseman, and it swallows him up, and the Outlaws score. Coming in is Braxton Bauer, and Evanston cuts the lead down to one with an RBI by Damian Common. And now here's the top of the order in Ryder Wilson. Still bases loaded. Osborne at third, Rich at second, Common at first. So speed on all bags. 
First pitch to Walker Wilson inside for ball one. It's a good take by Ryder Wilson right there. That's curveball first pitch. You don't want to swing at that. 1-0 on the way. Up high, two balls, nowhere to put him. Tying run, 90 feet away for the Outlaws. Two down. Well, he files. I think it's a blue glove if my eyes don't deceive me. 2-0. Swing and a fly ball into left field. That is foul. That's what you want to do with the 2-0 swing, though. Be on time and hit it hard, and that's exactly what Ryder Wilson did. Yes. <laughs> Damian Common, the runner on first, nearly passed up. And Brecken Rich on second. <laughs> As Rich could see, that's foul. Common, not so much because he's a little further from the play at a different angle. The 2-1 to Wilson. Swing and a fly ball. Left field foul again. Two balls, two strikes. That's a good thing there's a kid standing right there to pick that one up on his way back from grabbing the last foul <laughs> ball. Very similar swings there from Ryder. So we'll see if Files changes the speed on him here. If you're a rider, you got to be ready for that curveball. You've been out in front of two fastballs. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss for strike three. And the profit Aaron pulling is correct. The curveball, swing and a miss. But the Outlaws bring in one. It's 2-1 going into the third. Level leads on a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Outlaw Baseball live on MyLocalRadio.com and K9. The best trips away from home always come when you know you're among friends. This is Coulter Patterson, General Manager at the Come On In Hotel and Suites in Casper, Wyoming. I invite you to stay with us every time you're here. We've got the absolute best staff. Lots of our team members have been working together for years, and we feel like we're a happy family. I guarantee you'll feel that when you come stay with us. We're always glad that you choose the Come On In, and we'll do everything to make your stay comfortable and relaxing. The Come On In Hotel and Suites is the best place to stay because we have the best staff in Casper. Come on in today. Trust, hard work, and experience is what you'll find at Brian's Muffler Shop in Evanston. Quality work at a great price, Brian's Muffler is the perfect fit for oil changes, stock and performance mufflers, and Anderson hitches and accessories. Call Brian's Muffler today, 789-7021. Dad, I heard that human eyes can distinguish between 1 to 10 million different colors. Is that true? That is true. The human eye is amazing. We use our eyes not only to work and learn, but also to simply enjoy the beauty that surrounds us. At Uinta Eye & Vision, we care about each individual's eye health needs. Whether a person is looking for computer glasses, polarized sunglasses to assist in outdoor hobbies, contact lenses, or has general eye health needs, we are here to listen to our patients' thoughts and concerns to help them enjoy their amazing eyes. Call today to schedule an appointment, 789-3937. Tucker Jackson, the double back in the first to lead off the Uinta Eye Vision third inning level with a one or a one run lead as he'll step in. We'll see what Walker Wilson is able to do the first time. First pitch misses for a ball. If you're Walker, can't be afraid to attack him still. Don't want to give up a leadoff walk. If he gets on and hits on, that's fine. You live with that. 1-0. Up high and out. Two balls, no strikes. Key for a hitter like Jackson is you want to try to get ahead of them. You want to try to make them hit your pitch. 2-0. Swing and a fly ball into center left field. Walker Wilson, a Ryder Wilson can't make the play. Jackson rounds first, heads for second. He's headed for third. Throw by Oliver is wide, but great cover by Walker Wilson. Holds the runner at third and a leadoff triple by Tucker Jackson. I'll bring up Leif Files. And that's why you got to get ahead of a, got to get ahead of a hitter like Jackson because he can do damage when he puts his A swing on a ball the way he did there. Outlaws down by one, but Lovell threatening to stretch that lead back out to two again. First pitch to Files up high for ball one. Walker Wilson now comes set, runner on third, the pitch inside, two balls, no strikes, and Wilson is needs to take a deep breath and try to locate that zone again. Walker comes set, and the 
Catches the zone for strike one. It's a much better 2-0 pitch on the edges versus down the middle as he threw to Jackson. 2-1 on the way, swing and a foul ball. Two balls, two strikes. So Walker Wilson is set by the time that Files is in the box. He's holding for time. So pretty much by the time he gets his second hand back on the bat, Walker Wilson's kicking ready to go. Swing and a liner right back to Wilson. Throw to third. And they... Not in time. Didn't get him. Well, turnabout's fair play. Walker Wilson nearly drilled Files with a line drive. <laughs> Files almost Files the drills thing. a line drive at Walker Wilson. He snags it. That'll bring up Beto Dios Rios. It's drew a bad a, day to hit line drives at the pitcher. Yeah, drew a walk his first time up. Run on third with one down. First pitch to Rios. Foul tip into the glove. Great hang on by Jackson Osborne for strike one. And if you're Walker Wilson, that's going to be key, getting ahead. Sorry, he flew out to left field. 0-1 from Wilson. Up high, ball one. Ryder Wilson is playing incredibly deep out in center field with that wind blowing the way it is. And the 1-1. Swing and a miss at one down low for strike two. And Wilson trying to go and get that second out with a runner on third. The one two on the way. Check swing and he went strike three. And that's two down for Walker Wilson. One out away from getting out of that leadoff triple. Here comes Cash Wasmer. Walking came around in schoolward last time up. Wilson comes set the first pitch to Wasmer. Down low for ball one. Now with two outs, you be a little more careful. You're one out away. Make the hitter try to beat you on your pitch. 1-0. Foul tip. Hang on by Osborne for strike one. One ball, one strike. Maybe that line drive was a little bit of an adrenaline boost for Walker. Looks like he's throwing a little bit harder after that. Walker comes set and the 1-1. Swing and another foul ball. One ball, two strikes. Wilson a strike away from getting out of this jam. Wilson now comes set around the belt. The one, two. Breaking ball. Our off speed pitch swing and a miss. And that's the inning. Wilson gets around the leadoff triple. And the Outlaws trail by one with the two, three, four batters due up. You're tuned in to a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Outlaw Baseball live on MyLocalRadio.com and K9. I'm Kendall Roberts with the Wyoming Seatbelt Coalition. Whether your car is a classic car or a new one, buckle up every time. Buckle up for life, Wyoming. When you have an appointment with the dentist, it's reassuring to know that you're going to be seen by experienced, well-trained professionals. At Bear River Dental in Evanston, Dr. Lester, Dr. Owens, and Dr. Welch check every box. Plus, they're really nice people. Their passion to provide excellent dental care is reflected in everything from state-of-the-art equipment to professional, hard-working staff. Choose the professionals at Bear River Dental, serving patients of all ages. Call today to schedule an appointment. Bottom of the third inning brought to you by UNT Envision, where our vision is to improve yours. And it'll be the heart of the order for the Outlaws. Walker Wilson, Gavin Oliver, and Braxton Bauer. And Aaron Pulling and Elon off here in the Union Broadcast booth at Cali, Wyoming. Side of the 2023 Single A Western District Tournament. Winner of this game will play PAL tomorrow in the district semifinals at 2.30. The loser will play the loser of the Green River Cody matchup at, I believe that is 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Yeah, beautiful field right now. I mean, the people, the um, staff here at Lovell, they've done a fantastic job every single game making sure this field's in pristine condition. And, but, you know, the only thing that's, like, not real baseball worthy right now is the wind. Yeah. Man, it has played a factor in this game as – I think a couple of balls have been blowing over outfielders' heads. They're blowing away from an infielder. As Walker Wilson's up first, if you remember correctly, or if I remember correctly, he lined right at Files, and Files lined at him the last inning. So we'll see how this at-bat goes. 
see if they continue to play pepper with each other. Wilson, of course, as you mentioned, now 0 for 1. Got out of a huge inning around a leadoff triple as Wilson fly ball into right field, and that is caught by the right fielder. Moss. Moss for out number one. It's a great play by Moss. Got a good jump. He's able to read, read that ball into the glove as Gavin Oliver, or excuse me, as Walker Wilson smokes another one. A couple tough at bats. I think maybe third at bat, try getting jammed or something. Here comes Gavin Oliver. Of course, I'm kidding. Oliver 0 for 1 on the day. First pitch to Oliver. Down low, ball one. Oliver struck out swinging last time up. The 1 0 to Gavin. Fouls that one for strike one. It's a good oh that's a good one out hack right there on time. Trying to drive the ball, just missed it. Looked like he might have caught a little bit of his wrist there as he was kind of moving it around. Files with the one one to Oliver. Swing and a fly ball into left center field, and that could be trouble, and it is down. One hops to the track. Oliver round second. He's headed for third. And he is going to be in with a stand-up triple for Evanston themselves. Gavin Oliver crushed that baseball. It's unfortunate for him he hit it to left center field because he hits that ball to left field that's out by about 20 feet. Instead, Tucker Jackson nearly robbed Gavin Oliver there with a heck of a diving effort. Need I remind you, this is the first, uh, the same uh, place that Gavin Oliver hit his first homer of the season, and it was about that spot. Here's Braxton Bauer. He's one for one. First pitch to Bauer. Swing and gets under that one. Sends it towards shallow right field, and that will drop. drop. Oliver is going to score, and the Outlaws tie this thing up. Like I said, every every fly ball in the outfield and or in the infield has been an adventure today. That wind is really playing a factor as the Outlaws tie it up. Here's Ryan Hoover with Braxton Bauer on first. With only one out. What game changer rule that has. First pitch to Hoover. Swing and a chopper over the head of the pitcher. On to two for one. Back to Ryan Hoover for the inning inning double play. So it is a 4-3 double play in the scorebook. But the Outlaws tied up at two on a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Outlaw Baseball live on MyLocalRadio.com and K9. Dad, I heard that human eyes can distinguish between 1 to 10 million different colors. Is that true? That is true. The human eye is amazing. We use our eyes not only to work and learn, but also to simply enjoy the beauty that surrounds us. At Uinta Eye and Vision, we care about each individual's eye health needs. Whether a person is looking for computer glasses, polarized sunglasses to assist in outdoor hobbies, contact lenses, or has general eye health needs, we are here to listen to our patients' thoughts and concerns to help them enjoy their amazing eyes. Call today to schedule an appointment, 789-3937. With 25 years of successful industry experience, Mountain West Business Solutions looks forward to providing all of our customers with exceptional service, industry-leading technology, and a one-of-a-kind buying experience. Having your office equipped with the right technology makes all the difference in the world. With a lower cost per print, we will supply you with the right technology for the best price. Great people, great products, and great service. Mountain West Business Solutions, 133 Bear River Drive, Evanston. You're invited to come in and visit with the team at Cash Honda Yamaha in Cash Valley today. Our customers are our friends. If you haven't ever been in, stop in today. We'd love to get to know you. If you haven't been in for a while, stop in and let's get caught up. And if you were here yesterday, come back again soon. You always have an open invitation to visit the crew at Cash Honda Yamaha, where our customers are our friends. On US 91 between Logan and Smithfield. Fourth inning, and it's a tie ball game. And Aaron Poling, you made a comment during the break that, you know what, it looms, looms pretty large now. So right now, the difference in it being a one-run game and a tie game is both teams in the last inning had runners on third, less than two outs. One team scored at the Outlaws, where the Outlaws were able to hold Tucker Jackson at third. First pitch in there for a strike to Jacob Bischoff. He 
drew a walk back in the first. But the same could be said for the uh, Mustangs and their offense. They've drawn walks. Evanson really hasn't. Next pitch, beautiful breaking ball. Started inside, came back in and nipped the window. Let's go ahead and throw that same pitch. Just start this one down the middle. Wilson, as uh, it looks like Bischoff is going to call time. 0-2 count, and Wilson trying to get ahead of batters early and often. The 0-2 on the way. Inside, and it looked like it got a piece of him. Close call, and they send him to first. That's a momentum killer. You're up 0-2. Tried to get him to fish inside, lose a little bit of control of that pitch, and now that'll bring up uh, Morgan Moss. My bad. That's an S. It's Mason Moss. Mason Moss. It's a terrible S, though. Yeah, we're getting some yeah, residuals some from the sprinklers <laughs> yeah. behind us. Some of the wind blowing the sprinkler water towards us. Nobody down, one on the pitch. Bunt shown, throw down to first to check up on Bischoff, and that'll go down as a strike. So that's three straight strikes. Well, actually not three straight strikes. Three strikes in the last four pitches for Walker Wilson. Yeah, it's real unfortunate that ball hit the batter. As you hit the eight man, now you got the nine man up. Looks like they're going to try to sacrifice Bunt. The 0-1. Tries to lay it out a Bunt, and that's a strike. That's a good pitch. Anytime someone squares the bunt on the first pitch and they don't bunt the fastball, you got to go curveball to them because that curveball is much harder to bunt than a fastball. And a bunt foul will result in an out here. The pitch. And he's going to swing and a miss for strike three. It's a great bounce back at bat there for Walker. Now you're facing the top of the order with a runner on first with one out instead of one out runner on second. That'll bring up Carlos Rodriguez uh, 0 for 2 today, lining out to... Ryder Wilson, so Ryder be ready as he's playing a little bit over in center left field, according to our angle. He's fairly deep, too. Let's see if the Mustangs try to steal now. First pitch to Rodriguez. Fly ball into center right field, and that is down. One hops the wall. Headed for third is Bischoff, and they run, wave him around. Throw to Osborne is high. And they throw to third to try to get Rodriguez. He's in with an RBI triple. And Lovell takes the lead 3-2 here in the top of the fourth. A uh, good relay throw. I think they have him. Unfortunately, though, that's why you push the envelope as an offense. See if you can get that bad throw. And they were able to do that. That throw was where it needed to be on time. It just was too high in Osborne. Couldn't get up in the air and get it. It's 3-2 level now with one out and a runner on third. I'll now bring up Kale Wright. One for one on the day. The lefty first pitch to Wright. Swing and a miss for strike one. If you're Walker Wilson, no harm done. I mean, 3-2 to two, bottom, or excuse me, top of the fourth inning. You can't score three runs in the next three innings. 0-1. Outside for ball one. One Excuse ball, me. one strike. You can't score one run in the next three innings. You would have been tied either way, so still going to have to score. Wilson comes set. The 1-1. Down low in the dirt. Could stop by Osborne. Two balls, one strike. I mean, it's the nature of American Legion baseball. Not a lot of, you know, 3-2 games that happen mm -hmm. in the Legion. It's a real offensive league Walker comes set, and the 2-1 to right. Swing and a liner right up the middle. That's going to get down for an RBI single for right. And Lovell with their biggest lead of the night. Actually, no, it equals their biggest lead of the night. It was a 2-0 game earlier. Now they lead for 2 When they teach kids how to hit left-handed, that swing from Kale Wright might be in the video packages. That was a perfect swing, line drive right over second base. I'll now bring up. Alex Hodges, 0 for 2 today, bumped out to the first baseman and flew out to Brody Clifton to end an inning. A play by Clifton, really big as he chased that ball down at the at the right field line with the bases loaded in that second inning. Wilson comes set the pitch, swing and puts that into foul territory. Braxton Bauer running off towards the fence and that will drop 
for strike one. Heads up fence, Braxton Bowers coming. <laughs> it's a great effort though from Braxton as that ball landed on the fence as he nearly got there too. So no one count to start out. Hedges, he's 0 for 2 as mentioned. Like that Walker looked over to Braxton, make sure he's ready to go. Don't want to throw a pitch without your first baseman. Wilson now comes set and the 0-1. Swing and a liner right back at Hoover to two for one. On to first and can't scoop it at first. And But they get the lead runner for out number two. Looking for that inning-ending double play. That's a great stop by Braxton, though. It gets by him. That inning-ending double play turns into Tucker Jackson coming up with a runner in scoring position. But let's face it, first base is scoring position with Tucker Jackson at the plate, though. Tucker Jackson, he has already been great today. Double, double. and a triple. Yeah. Has the two hardest, one of the hardest parts of the cycle. Throw back to first. Nearly got him, but not going to be there. He's got the, he doesn't have the, I'll say he's the hardest and probably the third hardest, needing a single and a home run. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Hopefully we don't have to cross that bridge. Throw back to first. Bauer making that tag very close. At first, trying to pick off Alex Hedges. Did a good job letting the ball travel to his glove and keeping his glove close to the runner. He's got to imagine Hedges, or Hodges, excuse me, might be on the move. Wilson comes set the pitch. Outside, one ball, no strikes. But also in the same breath, I don't think you want to possibly get a runner thrown out with Jackson at the plate. You'd much rather have him hit if you're level with runners on. 1-0 to Jackson. Down low, great stop by Osborne. Two balls, no strikes. He fell behind Jackson again, and that's – there's a runner on first, but, I mean, double and a triple today. It's the worst thing in the world if you walk him. Wilson comes set, and the 2-0. Finds the zone for strike one. Well, if you can live there, it's a good chance. Put it outside on that lower corner. As Wilson checks the runner at first, comes set, and the senior delivers to Jackson. Swing and a miss for strike two, and it's all knotted up. Two balls, two strikes. Uh, Tucker Jackson tried to double that lead and get the probably the hardest at this age part of that cycle out of the way because he took a hack there. Can we call it a, a little league cycle if he goes gets the single? 2-2, two, two, runner going. Throw by Osborne is not in time and rolls into center field. Hedges got up, tried to take second as well, or third as well, but he tripped over the bag when he got up. That's a break for the Outlaws with Ryder Wilson playing so deep. Any throw that gets in the center field is probably an advancement to third if the base runner can hop up and get his feet going instead. Full count, two down, already two in for the Mustangs. Go breaking ball out of the zone here. See if he can get the chase. Base open over at first. Wilson delivers. Down low for ball four. And it's a two-out walk for Tucker Jackson. I'll bring up Leif Files. He's 0 for 2, grounded into the shortstop, and then lined back to Walker Wilson his last time up. I don't know if that's the worst thing in the world right there, walking Tucker Jackson, but you have to execute for to make it work. So you got to get Leif here. Or Pitch. Files, excuse me. Pitch to Files. Gets under that one. Pops it up into shallow center field. Gavin Oliver makes the catch from the shortstop position for out number three. Two come in for the Mustangs, and they lead it 4-2 to two going into the bottom of the fourth. You're tuned in to the First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Outlaw Baseball live on MyLocalRadio.com and K9. This presentation on MyLocalRadio.com is also brought to you in part by Hoover Chiropractic. With over three decades of experience, Dr. Todd Hoover can help you with all the chiropractic work you need plus x-rays, blood work, a weight loss program, and can help you get rid of allergies and migraines. Dr. Todd Hoover with Hoover Chiropractic in Evanston. Risk takers, adventure seekers, optimists, authentic people with a fire in their belly and greatness in their hearts. You'll find them here, in a place where the spirit of the cowboy lives and thrives. I am a cowboy. I am a cowboy. Soy vaquera. 
The world needs more cowboys. Lay files out for inning number four. And so far in his journey today in the postseason, Files, three innings pitched, four hits, two runs, one earned, and two strikeouts. Here's the one magic number, though, no walks. As Jackson Osborne will look to lead things off, it'll be Osborne, uh, Osborne, Rich, and Brody Clifton do up here in the bottom of the fourth inning. So technically the Outlaws didn't walk anybody, but that leadoff hit by pitch comes around to score in the inning as, as free passes come back to bite the Outlaws again. Jackson Osborne digs in, the catcher. Files steps back and deals the first pitch to Osborne. Away and low from the right-hander for ball one. For the Outlaws, you want to grind here, try to muddy up this inning, make it a slow burn of an inning try to slow that momentum down for level Osborne chopper down the third base line fielded by Hedges throw to first uh, not going to happen it's foul so one ball one strike to Osborne um, we're not at the angle to see where that ball was but mm -hmm. where uh, the third baseman Hodges caught that ball that looked like it was fair but might have clipped Osborne on the way out of the box the one one on the way Swing and a solid hit right at the second baseman, Wright, who brings it in for the line out for out number one. That is an Adam ball right at him. Unfortunate for Jackson as he put a charge into that one. That's the thing. Evanston is hitting the ball really well. They're just not finding get grass or the gaps. It's been the ones that they haven't got all of that have fallen. You know, Braxton Bowers RBI single, you think of. He popped that one up over to first base. Breckenridge, first pitch inside, ball one. Brody Clifton stands on deck with one down. And then Damian Common in the hole for the Outlaws. 1-0 on the way to Rich. Solid hit into shallow center field. And Rich rounds first, puts on the brakes. And it's a one-out single for Brecken. It's a great piece of hitting there from Brecken Rich. Didn't do too much. And now you're down by four. The Outlaws just want to get base runners on. Or down by two, sorry. Right, let's not make this nope. more insurmountable than it has to be. <laughs> Winner of this game will play Pal tomorrow at 2.30. The loser will play the loser of Green River Cody at 7 p.m. tomorrow night. First pitch to Clifton inside for strike one. It's first pitch breaking ball. Clifton laid off. Don't mind that. Not the pitch you wanted. If you're going to swing on the first pitch, you don't want to swing at a pitch you weren't looking for. Breckenridge on first, comes set. Throw back to first, and he's safe. Files hesitated on the throw. I mean, I think if he throws that, if he throws it right away, it's a much closer play. I don't know if he gets him, but kind of hesitated there as Rich was able to get back safely. And the 0-1. Swing and a fly ball into left field. Tricky tracking back and making the grab for out number two is Bischoff. So Bischoff's route on that ball is he ran to where the ball was, um, basically not front and back, left to right, and that ball kind of carried on him about an extra five feet as he had to backpedal a couple of steps. That's the wind right there taking a, taking that ball that I thought was routine to about mid-left field and taking it nearly to the warning track. Here's Damian Common. Throw back to first check up on Rich. Common, by the way, 0 for 1. With two down, Ryder Wilson stands on deck. Got an RBI, though. Reached on an air. Walker Wilson in the hole. Files come set. And the first pitch to Common. Ooh, foul, and that got a piece of the umpire for strike one. Yeah, Damian Common tried to tie it with one swing right there. He's a big, strong kid if he runs into one with that wind. Kind of slowed down a bit, though. It's not blowing the way it was earlier. If that wind picks back up, though, I think Damian Common could put one up into, that, up into the wind. And maybe. It's a big, strong kid. 0-1 count to Common. With Breckenrich over at first. Files checks the runner at first. Now comes set. The 0-1. A pie and in. One ball, one strike to Common. Two down. 
as Ryder Wilson waits on deck. Throw back to first to check up on Rich. He's back, no problem. Again, he hesitates. Maybe it's just the way his pickoff move is, but it looks like he turns, sees, and then throws, where if you're going to have a good pickoff move, you've got to be throwing as you're turning. Lay files 37 pitches so far. Very efficient. Haven't really made him work. The 1-1 one, one on the way. Swing and a miss at that high speed for strike two. Flirting with a coming set there is, is nearly a quick pitch. Common taking a hack above his shoulders, though. Got to bring him into the zone. If you're rich, anticipate breaking ball in the dirt here. If it gets in the dirt, you got to get yourself in scoring position. Swing and a ball into foul territory, and that is down despite Wasmer making a valiant attempt. A hey, great effort there from Cash Wasmer. He's got all that gear on, making that dive as the umpire congratulates him on the effort. You'll love to see that. I mean, laying out with it all on the line, trying to help his pitcher out. That's what playoff baseball is all about, is the wind does seem to have calmed down a little bit. Now ah, you said the W word. Uh, now it's going to kick up again. Well, as long as it kicks up while we're hitting, it makes it a little better, huh? <laughs> one ball, two strikes to common. Two down, runner on first is Brecken Rich. I lost trail by two on the Heritage Chevrolet of Evanston scoreboard. The one, two. Up high, two balls, two strikes. That's a nice pitch there from Files as Common has swung out of the zone above the above the strike zone a couple times, and he goes even higher, seeing if you can get that chase. But now it's a 2-2 two -two count. If you're the pitcher, you got to come at him right here. Files comes set. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a liner down the third baseline. Foul. It's a good job by Common to get a piece of that. Stay alive, continue to battle. This is a pretty prototypical Damian Common at bat. Work yeah. the count. It's Work the count. Hopefully you can get something you can handle. Common, of course, been batting at the nine hole most of the season. Has done a very good job. Almost serving as a second leadoff man. His files come set in the 2-2. Outside, three balls, two strikes, and Common has worked this thing full. The runners will be unleashed at first base as Breckenridge will now get a little bit of a head start. Not much of a head start because it's not like files are slow to the plate, but he gets a head start nonetheless. Something in the gap. Look for him to try to score. Files come set, and the 3-2. Foul ball, Common stays alive. This has been a great at-bat for Damian Common. Well, we talked about how they haven't really made late files work very much, and now this at battle definitely, and if you're the Outlaws, it would be big if you could keep this inning going if Common gets on somehow. The 3-2. Up high, and no! Breaking ball fell into the away corner for strike three, and Common goes down looking. So nobody comes in for the Outlaws. They still trail by two going into the fifth. You're tuned in to a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Outlaw Baseball live on MyLocalRadio.com and K9. Light up your world with a custom-built LED sign from Rocky Mountain Sign in Evanston. It's a proven fact that signage that lights up creates more attention. So light it up and then add text, images, and video, and your sign becomes even more powerful. Start sharing your advertising messages and information with your customers today. The team at Rocky Mountain Sign provides all types of quality signage that is custom-built and maintained. Call today for a free quote. Rocky Mountain Sign, 307-789-5202. Rocky Mountain Sign, serving customers in Wyoming, Utah, and Idaho. Do you want to further your education? Are you thinking of attending college? You can start now here in Evanston. Western Evanston Outreach provides students with a low cost alternative to leaving town. Western offers a variety of degrees, including nursing, BAS, and our brand new cybersecurity. Also offering a variety of certificate programs that can be completed all right here in Evanston. Western Evanston Outreach, we are your local community college. From one corner of the state to the other, over 82% of Wyomingites wear their seatbelts. And to the 18% who don't, we say, let's buckle up for life, Wyoming. Outlaws trail by twos. We enter the fifth inning as we're getting into the latter th uh, third, really, of this one. And if you're the Evanston Outlaws, 
it's not like a lot of things aren't working. You're hitting the ball well. You're just happening to hit it right to the glove of a Mustang. Yeah, it's getting late fast for the Outlaws. So they just got to continue to make good contact, and hopefully it'll start to fall for them. Here comes Dios Betos Rios. Fly out to left field in a strikeout looking last time up. First pitch is in there for a strike. If you're Walker Wilson, you got to just keep grinding, keep battling. Start throwing up some zeros for your team. Make it a little easier for the comeback. A one. A pie and in for ball one. Changes the eye level a little bit there for Dios Rios. He's 0 for 2, the man on deck as Rios pops that one into left field. Waved off by Common, who makes the catch for out number one. That one just kind of went up there and hung there for an eternity for out number one. Damian Common calls off Ryder Wilson on a fly ball <laughs> to very, very straightaway left field. If Ryder Wilson had any intentions of coming to get that ball from Common, he made sure that there was no way he could. Cash Wasmer 0 for 1 on the day with a strikeout and a walk as he'll foul off the first one for strike one. It's good to see that in a high-pressure situation. They're still having fun, especially Common, who in a kind of a big situation did just strike oh, out looking. Common is kind of the, the jokester, the funny guy on the team. And during the uh, rain delay in Rollins, they're playing music, and he was busting a move. Swing and a fly ball into center field. Walker Wilson makes the catch for out number two. That's a great hustle from the mound for Walker as Ryder makes the play. Oh, sorry, Ryder Wilson. Ugh. All year. You've, I Man, say all year it's been on. right. Biggest moment of the, of the season. season. And then I mess it up. Yeah, Elon chokes. You know who aren't, isn't choking right now is that outfield for the Outlaws. Two uh, swing deep balls and two great plays by Ryder Wilson and, of course, Damian Common. He's only playing like five steps off the warning track. He's going to force everything in front of him. I first, like that. First pitch to Bischoff, swing and a miss for strike one. Bischoff still looking for his first at-bat of the game as he has been walked and hit by a pitch with a run score. There's a big out right here for the Outlaws. A one. Swing and a ground ball right to the third baseman. Rich on to first in time for out number three. And the Outlaws send the Mustangs down in order. Still two run lead for Lovell on a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Outlaw Baseball live on MyLocalRadio.com and K9. Water testing, community enhancement grants, seedling trees and wildflowers, classroom lessons and specialty workshops, composting and conservation of water and soil. The Uinta County Conservation District is here to serve Uinta County residents. Visit our website today, UintaCountyCD.com. I buckle up because there's been too many fatalities around our house where somebody would have survived if they'd been wearing their seatbelt. I definitely um, wear my seatbelt to keep him safe. I wear it just for safety. I buckle up because my mom makes me. I buckle up to set a good example for my kids and to make sure they stay safe. Getting home safe to my family. I buckle up because it keeps me safe. Go, Go Pokes, buckle up. <laughs> buckle up for life, Wyoming. Bottom of the fifth, and it's the top of the order to up for the Outlaws. Down by three, or sorry, down by two, four to two on the Heritage Auto of Evanston scoreboard. I was looking at the wrong number on our score bug there. Well, I mean, from the last inning, you kind of shrunk the lead. So <laughs> oh next inning, we should get it right, right? Right. Right. Ryder Wilson oh, will lead things off. So when you're going right <laughs> for the fifth time in a row. <laughs> Walker Wilson stands on deck. I'm having an off day. It's okay. It's the playoffs. I don't know if it's an off day or it's a, we've been sitting in the sun all day. <laughs> I think we're melting. Ugh. My shins are getting sunburned. We've been broadcasting all day for this one, and it has not let us down as this has been by far the best game of the day. Yeah, this is the only game that's going to go more than five innings. So unless Lovell somehow scores ten in the bottom of the fifth while they're in the field, we are going to play a sixth. <laughs> well, I guess the Outlaws could, could. put up 12. twelve. They put up twelve, and after this. It had to be a tough inning for Lovell. Files will now face off against Ryder Wilson. First pitch to Ryder. Takes it for ball one. Good hold there for Ryder. Great take there. Ryder has a tendency sometimes to open up and swing over a curveball first pitch. He takes that one. Hopefully he's recognizing it better. The 1-0 on the way. Up high and in. Two balls, no strikes. And Wilson, when we talked to him, he said, I don't care about 
getting doubles or homers or triples. I just want to get my job is to get on base. I want singles and I want walks. 2 0 on the way. Swing and a liner down the third baseline. Foul for strike one. Every time he's fouled the ball, it's been about that, right in that spot. As there's some movement down there in the bullpen. So it looks like Commons out there. 2 1 on the way. Swing and Ryder gets under that one. Fouls it over the th uh, first base dugout for strike two. Got to protect against the curveball here. Got him last at bat with that same curveball. Same count in a very similar situation. Ryder got ahead 2 0, fouled two of them off, and then he came curveball. And the 2 2 to Ryder Wilson. Takes it for a strike on the outside part of the zone. And now that'll bring up Walker Wilson, who is 0 for 2 with two really well hit balls just right at the glove of the Mustangs. For Files, that is strikeout number four. And that's what makes hitting tough. Ryder Wilson gets an absolutely dotted fastball on the outside corner. Files now goes to Wilson. Swing and a fly ball into center left field. Retreating back is the center fielder and makes the catch. That's Jackson for out number two. And it's another well-struck ball by Ryder. Just can't find the gap as that will now bring up Gavin Oliver for the Outlaws. Outlaws down by two with two down here in the bottom of the fifth. First base to Oliver. Inside, ball one. Oliver one for two on the day. Gavin with a triple and came around to score. A 1-0 to Oliver from Files. Swing and a miss at an off speed for strike one. Got to give credit to Files, though. Files has attacked the zone, trusted his defense. Uh, he's allowed only one earned run, so one of those runs came courtesy of the defense but you know he's been attacking and trusting them and it's really worked out 1-1 one, one. swings that one up high and fouls it away for strike two as that one goes over the union broadcast booth it's always fun to watch the race for the foul ball one in ball between two, pitches one ball two strikes to gavin oliver and nobody on two down here in the bottom of the fifth outlaws trail four to two on the heritage auto of evanston scoreboard but one two on the way Swing and a miss for strike three, and the Outlaws go down in order, trailing by two as we go into the fifth. You're tuned in to a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Outlaw Baseball live on MyLocalRadio.com and K9. Red Devil Pride runs deep with the team at Callis Automotive. Today's students are tomorrow's leaders. You'll always find quality products at fair prices at Callis Automotive. We're proud to serve our customers, our community, and our Evanston Red Devils. Stop in today. Callis Automotive, your local Napa dealer. Business cards are a powerful and inexpensive way to promote the goods and services you offer. You can design your own cards or have the professionals at Westar Printing design your business cards. Now with same day and next day turnaround on all business card printing, you don't have to wait. Get your business cards today. Professional quality, inexpensive prices, and quick turnaround. Visit Westar Printing, 243 7th Street in Evanston, across from the library. Westar Printing, 307-789-5202. <laughs> Get a degree or certification. Earn your high school GED. Get job skills. Become CPR certified. Or use our free 3D printers and tools. These are just a few of the opportunities available at Uinta BOCES number one. Call 307-789-5742 to learn more. On to the top of the sixth inning. Outlaws Trail 4-2 on the Heritage Auto of Evanston scoreboard. If this score holds up, Outlaws will play the loser of Green River and Cody at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. If the Outlaws can come back, they will play Pal at 2.30 tomorrow afternoon. I'll now bring up Mason Moss. He is 0 for 1 with a walk today. This is a big out here. You want to face the top of this order with nobody on as Rodriguez has smoked the ball three times. First pitch to Moss down low for ball one. Outlaws only down by two, so it's definitely a doable situation, especially with them having last at bats. 1-0 on the way. Swing and a fly, shallow fly ball into shallow 
right field actually curves in towards the infield grass by the third base, and Gavin Oliver tracks it down for out number one. I like that Gavin Oliver went back and got behind the ball to run in to catch it. Here comes Carlos Rodriguez, and he has smoked it three times, has reached once, and it was the last time, and it was a triple. Wilson comes set. That's a good pitch to start. Takes the pitch outside, ball one. It might have been a ball, but, you know, Rodriguez crushed one last time up. See if you can get him a little over aggressive. The 1 0 on the way. Down low in the dirt, two balls, no strikes. Wilson comes set at the belt, the 2 0. Swing and a miss at a fastball right down front street for strike number one. Carlos Rodriguez tried to extend the lead right there. Got a bit, little wry smile on his face. I think he's talking to the umpire about that. But it's a good 2-0 hack. Wilson comes set with the 2-1. Rodriguez takes the strike down at the lower away corner. Two balls, two strikes. Wilson works this thing into a pitcher's count. Comes set. And the 2-2. Breaking ball up high and in. Three balls, two strikes. Full count to Carlos Rodriguez. On deck, you got Kale Wright. Pitch to Rodriguez up high and loses him on a full count walk. I'll now bring up Kale Wright. As he strides to the batter's box. Wright, two for two today with, looks like, two singles. Left-hander, of course. Be Hoover, be ready. Everything's been hit hard that way. First pitch to right up high. Good stop by Osborne, who just explodes off of the squat position. One ball, no strikes. I can see Walker step off, take a breath here, reset himself. Wilson comes, checks the runner, the 1-0. Swing and a miss at a fastball for strike one. I think the hitter right did that for him. He took a while to get back into the box, and that forced Walker to kind of slow down a bit. He's able to deliver there. Walker checks the runner at first, comes set. Throw back to first, Bauer. We've seen a lot of those throws today sail away from first baseman. Braxton not, Bauer's done a good job. I say not necessarily in this game. No, not in this game. I'm talking about throughout the day. Walker comes set. And the 1-1. Swing and a foul ball right over the Union broadcast booth. Aaron Poling tried to make the play. Actually, it might have gone off the top of the netting and down onto the grass. One ball, two strikes. I like what Walker did there. He held the ball an extra beat, trying to disrupt that timing from Rodriguez at first. Wilson comes set. And the 1-2. Throw back to first, and they nearly get Rodriguez. He's back. Eh, can't be afraid to get get dirty over there if you're Rodriguez. I mean, it's better to get down than than risk it trying to get back in. Rodri up. Rodriguez, the only runner on with one down and a one-two count to right. Throw to right. Pop that one into the outfield. And it is caught by Brody Clifton, who runs from right field and makes the catch right in front of Ryder Wilson. Well, two guys were there, and luckily they didn't collide because that's what it looked like it was heading for. It honestly looked like it was going to head for a battle of strength as uh, as we got a little timeout. We're going to check the pitch count. According to Game Changer, we're at 103, so Walker Wilson will probably start his final batter here with two down. That would be big for the Outlaws if you could get to the seventh with, ju with uh, just – one pitcher. I do like that manager Nick Small comes over and checks just to make sure because you'd hate to lose on a forfeit if you come back in this game because you threw too many pitches. First pitch outside, ball one. So if the Outlaws are able to get out of this inning with Walker Wilson, makes you wonder who is it going to be that throws the final three outs for this one as they will have last crack at it. 
Thought I saw Common warming up in the bullpen. 1-0 on the way. Runner decides to go. Osborne fires from his knees through the glove of Oliver. Rolls into center field. Throw by Breckenridge. Or excuse me, throw by Ryder Wilson to Breckenridge at third, and he can't apply the tag in time. And he reaches third on the error. That's going to go against the, that's going to be a throwing error against Jackson Osborne, and that's really, really unfair. As that was a perfect throw. Sometimes you got to dig it out of the dirt for that middle infielder. It's not easy. 2-0. Swing and a fly ball into left field. Damian Common retreating back, and that is down. One's going to come in for Lovell. And it's a RBI double for Hedges. That's a huge run. And once again, another walk comes in to score for the Mustangs. And that's going to do it for Walker Wilson. We'll tell you about the new Outlaws pitcher when we come back after this. You're tuned in to a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Outlaw Baseball live on MyLocalRadio.com and K9. They say the three most important things in life for many people are their faith, their family, and their high school sports. And not necessarily in that order. Advertise where you will get noticed. Call my local radio and become a sports advertiser today. Ready has provided safety and excellence in industrial construction and support services since 1982. From insulation and scaffolding to paintings and coatings, our crews are standing by to assist with new construction, maintenance projects, facility shutdowns, and more. Contact us today to ensure your assets are protected and functional. Interested in joining our team? Visit ReadyUSA.com. We are ready. Damian Common, the new pitcher for the Evanston Outlaws, inherits a runner on second. And the Outlaws trail by three here in the top of the sixth. So that will probably move Walker Wilson out to left field, I would imagine, and that is exactly what happens. So Common wrapping up his warm-up tosses. The loser of this game will play... The loser of Cody and Green River tomorrow at 7 o'clock p.m. And the winner will play Powell tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. in the district semifinals. And it's the first game for Powell as they were the number one seed in the Northwest. They got the bye. That's a bit of a break for the Outlaws. I mean, you know, Green River is the one seed, and it seems like they've got the toughest route. Like, uh, that's a that's tough, so. But Green River, I mean, they could still advance. They beat Cody tomorrow, and that's, I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. So the Outlaws are going to have to be ready for whoever. I was going to say the bottom of the fifth inning so we don't have to go into that situation. Yeah. Uh -huh. As That's a big run standing on second base. A three-run comeback is a lot different than a four-run comeback. It's much, much harder. And, you know, I think back to a conversation we had with the manager of uh, – of the Lovell Mustangs the very first day of the season where he said that his teams usually get better as the year goes along as here comes that manager with a good little trap out over to the third base coach's box. But his teams get better and better and better as the year goes along. And I think this Lovell team, they've improved yeah. very, very much. I mean, they're a much better team than we saw that first week. Here's Obviously, Evanston is too, but I think these Mustangs have improved a lot. Here's Tucker Jackson, two for two. He'll be the first to greet Common to the ball game. Damien comes set, the first pitch to Jackson. Fastball outside for uh, strike one. Well, they are a lot braver than I am because <laughs> Tucker Jackson would be standing on first base if I was. <laughs> oh, one from Common to Jackson. Catches the inside corner down low for strike two. But that shows faith in your pitcher when Damien Common's coming in, dotting the inner black, outer black with the first two pitches. Makes it an easier decision. Common comes set. Checks the runner at second. And the 0-2. Up high, ball one. Good pitch. Both the first two pitches were low in the zone. That one's above the zone. Change the eye level. Maybe if you have a hook right here, if you're Damian Common, this would be a good time for it. 1-2 on the way. Swing and a miss for strike three. And Damian Common comes in with authority. Outlaws trail by three going into the bottom of the sixth. 
We'll be right back after this on the First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Outlaw Baseball on MyLocalRadio.com and K9. They say the three most important things in life for many people are their faith, their family, and their high school sports. And not necessarily in that order. Advertise where you will get noticed. Call My Local Radio and become a sports advertiser today. Ready has provided safety and excellence in industrial construction and support services since 1982. From insulation and scaffolding to paintings and coatings, our crews are standing by to assist with new construction, maintenance projects, facility shutdowns, and more. Contact us today to ensure your assets are protected and functional. Interested in joining our team? Visit ReadyUSA.com. We are ready. Outlaws down by three, but we're in the bottom of the six. I haven't seen the designated home team being the higher seed. And they've got Braxton Bauer. Braxton Bauer, Ryan Hoover, and I believe Jackson Osborne do up in the inning. So good start by those guys. Bauer, of course, he comes in. Two for two with a run scored. Hoover 0 for two. Osborne 0 for two. But if they can get to Breckenridge, he's two for two as well. So Braxton Bauer seeing the ball really, really well with a two for two game. So that'd be big for the Outlaws if you're going to try to come back to get that leadoff man on. As he has seen Leif Files pretty well. I'm not one for leaning into pitches, but if there's one going to hit, this is almost an automatic take it in the side. First pitch outside. Ball one. As you have to do anything you can to get base runners right now against Files, you're down three. You need to get at least one back here in this inning. 1-0 on the way. Swing in a foul ball. One ball, one strike. I think if you're the Outlaws, you need to take some uh, at-bats really, really deep against Files. Get that pitch count up. It's only 56 pitches. Yeah, they're not going to get Files out of this no. game. They just need to grind, 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 see if they can get on base any way possible. The 1-1 one, one on the way. Up high, two balls, one strike. It's also easy to say for my comfy little chair over here, but if it was easy, everyone would play the game. Baseball is not an easy sport, and coming back in baseball is even harder. 2-1 on the way. Swing and a fly ball into right field, and that one will drop. Foul. Two balls, two strikes. That's a good little piece there from Braxton Bauer. Didn't quite get all of that. Got underneath it, but... I like the idea, trying to use the whole entire field. That pitch on the outside part of the plate, trying to hit it that way. Two balls, two strikes. Bauer leading off the sixth inning. If you're watching at home, wasn't giving the double rock-ons. Was making sure the count was two to two. Two to two to Bauer. Great. Outside, three balls, two strikes. That's a great take right there from Braxton Bauer. You gotta, you gotta choke up, protect. It's a huge pitch in the game. Three, two. Outside, Bowers walking. That's a great at bat for Braxton Bowers. It's what the Outlaws needed. Well, he didn't take it like you were asking, but he's on base in a very similar fashion. Yeah, drawing a walk. And maybe too. even better taking that at bat as long as it did. Here comes Ryan Hoover. He's 0 for two on the day. I mean, there's not much you can probably learn from watching guy, but seeing more pitches in an at-bat is always going to be great for that at-bat. Files come set. The pitch to Hoover up high. One ball, no strikes. If you're Ryan Hoover, you got to get him in the zone right now. That's the first walk for Files, if I'm correct. Files come set. The 1 out. Swing and a miss for strike one. Hoover... 6-3 double play and a fly out to center field, so he's getting contact. Little unlucky, hit a ground ball back up the middle that ramped off the mound into the glove of Rodriguez. He steps on the bag and throws it over. 1-1, one, one, swing and a miss for strike two. Got to go same approach here as Braxton Bauer, choke up, protect. Files checks the runner at first, that's Bauer. 1-2 on the way. Up high, two balls, two strikes. Good layoff by Hoover. Uh, much like Common in the top of the inning, that high fastball is setting up for that breaking ball. He went to that same combination against Bauer. So if you're Hoover, you got to be ready for both. 
Inside, part of the zone, and Hoover goes down looking for strike three, and that's one down. And there was that breaking ball. Here comes Jackson Osborne with a smile on his face as he walks towards the batter's box. Brecken Rich stands on deck. Rich a two for two game himself. First pitch from Files to Osborne. A pie ball one. Third batter in a row that Files has started it off with that similar pitch. High fastball above the zone, yeah. Kind of falling into a little bit of a pattern here for the Outlaws. Pick up on that. 1-0. Up high, two balls, no strikes. Uh, here's Jackson Osborne's opportunity to take an absolute rip at one. He's hit the ball hard today. The sun is beginning to set in the Wyoming sky. The pitch, 2-0 to Osborne. Swing and a liner, a chopper right up the center. On to two for one, looking for the double play, and they got it to end the inning. And we're off to the seventh. Outlaws trail 5-2 to two, heading into the final inning. We'll be right back after this on a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Outlaw Baseball live on MyLocalRadio.com and K9. Freeway Tire offers a nationwide service protection plan that covers service parts and labor on select systems, keeping your vehicle on the road. Plus, it includes coverage for towing, lockout service, flat tire changing, fuel, oil, and water delivery service, and jump starts. Knowing that your vehicle is covered at over 50,000 dealer locations nationwide provides that peace of mind wherever you are. Get the details. Visit Freeway Tire and ask about the service protection plan. Freeway Tire, 217 Bear River Drive, Evanston. Western Wyoming Beverages has been proudly owned and operated in Wyoming for over 50 years, providing reliable service, friendly staff, and the nation's top beverage products, including Pepsi. We always strive to be the premier business partner for our customers. Western Wyoming Beverages services Rock Springs, Green River, Jackson, Evanston, Kemmer, Pinedale, Wom Setter, Big Piney, Mountain View, and Lyman. Go Red Devils! It all comes down to this in the first postseason game for the Evanston Outlaws and the Manila Mustangs. Or excuse me, Level Mustangs. That's on me. I said that one <laughs> yes, time in the did. office, and I think I, I think I broke it. Yeah, yep. Same logo too. Yeah. Of course, Level uh, Utah School that I uh, freed quite Manila, a bit. Manila Utah School. <laughs> you said Level. Eh. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, somewhere. Damian Common out there for his second third of an inning as he got a big strikeout against Tucker Jackson to end the sixth. Outlaws need to put up a zero here in order to make this possible. They'll need to score three as it stands right now to force extra innings, four to win it. Lay Files will lead things off for the Mustangs. Stamian Common will be back on the mound. Either way, the Evanston Outlaws are going to be playing for a spot in the state tournament tomorrow. If they win, then they'll have two opportunities to do that. If they lose, they'll only have one as Files fouls off the first one for strike one. Good job by Common getting ahead. It's been a big difference in that bats with the, for the Mustangs when they're ahead in the count hitting versus when they're behind in the count. If they lose, the best they can do is the number three seed. The 0-1's on the way, up high and in, one ball, one strike. At this point, you just want to get in the tournament. Yep. You can try to battle for the one seed all you want, but you got to get in before we even start talking about seeding. Common comes set in the 1-1. Outside for strike two. Way ahead. Have a little fun here. Throw the pitch you want to pitch. Or excuse me, throw the pitch you want. Common comes set. And the one two. Up high, two balls, two strikes. Looks like that slipped out of his hand a bit. Earlier in the day, Cody beat Rollins 12 0. Green River beat Lander 16 4. The 2 2 on the way. Up high, check swing, he didn't go. Three balls, two strikes. And then after that, Lander beat Rollins 24 to eight. And this is the final game of day one. Winner will play Powell tomorrow, who got the first round bye. 
at 2.30. The loser will play the loser of Cody and Green River at 7 p.m. Strikeout looking as Common makes it two in a row for the Outlaws. That'll bring up Beto Dios Rios. He's 0 for 3. Two flyouts to left field and a strikeout. I'd go off speed right here to Dios Rios as he's flown out to left field twice. Means he's out in front of it a bit. Common comes set. First pitch to Dios Rios. Taken up high. Ball one. Yeah, moving his feet doesn't hurt either. Common takes off hat, readjusts it. Ball behind the back. Now comes set. The 1-0. Swing and a miss for strike one. Throughout the entire inning, Breckenridge and Damian Common have had a conversation in between the pitches. It's good to see that they're still loose. The 1-1 one, one on the way. Up high and in. Great grab by Jackson Osborne. Two balls, one strike. Common shrugs the shoulders down. Comes set. And the 2-1. Swing and a miss for strike two. And now Common trying to get three strikeouts in a row. Come set. The 2-2. Two -two. Fouled into the back screen. It'll hold. Ballerina count 2-2. Two -two. That would be a good time to break out that good old Uncle Charlie, the curveball for Common. As Rios is right on the fastball. 2-2 two -two on the way. Swing and a miss for strike three, and that's three strikeouts in a row for Damian Common. I think he's only a sophomore as well. Well, that was a fastball that looked pretty center cut. Just said, here it is, hit it, and D.S. Rios could not. I'll now bring up Cash Wasmer, 0 for 2 with a walk and a run scored. First pitch from Common. Swing and a miss out in front of that one for strike one. It's a good first pitch breaking ball right there. Be huge if the Outlaws can get a 1-2-3 inning right here. Try to build some momentum heading into the last at-bat. Common comes set. And the 0-1. Swing and a chopper down the third baseline. Rich on to first in time, and the Outlaws take him out in order. Well, Outlaws need to score three to win it. Will they do it? We'll find out. Bottom of the seventh as we will keep it right here. And uh, Aaron Poling, just your thoughts, and what do you need to do if you're the Outlaws? Um, I think you got to see a strike. That's the one thing. You're down three. You're not going to be able to score a three-run home run until you get at least two people on. So mm -hmm. I think you got to see a strike. Uh, you got you got to force them to work a bit. There's been a lot of one-pitch at-bats in this game for Files as he's been very, very efficient as he's just barely breaking the 60 mark of pitches. So if you're the Outlaws, you got to grind. You got to get three runs. You got to remember that you can't get all three of those at the same time. We are in a spot in the order where it is. It's going to be Breckenridge, Brody Clifton, Damian Common. So if two of those three batters can get on base, you know, you kind of start looking down the order more. You get to the Walker Wilsons, the Ryder Wilsons, top of the order. If all three of them can get on, you know, if you add three of those five hitters can get on, then you have Gavin Oliver coming up. And, you know, if you're going to have a hitter with one swing of the bat that has an opportunity to tie the game, it's Gavin Oliver. Or Braxton Bauer as well. He's been seeing the ball very well. Walker Wilson, though, he is 0 for 3, but it's not three strikeouts. It's not three bad pitch, bad uh, at-bats. He's been striking the ball really well. It's just it's finding the glove of the of the level Mustangs. Yeah, I mean, Walker's had some good at-bats, but, I mean, before we can even talk about Walker having an at-bat, we got to get we got to get two of the three on, or we got to get for Walker really anyways. Need, yeah. So, Breckenridge will lead things off. He's two for two for the night, so that is a good sign. As the Mustangs come in, knowing they are three outs away from an appearance in the district semifinal. So, not only is... So, not only is... Excuse me. Not only does that allow hitters to come up, but putting runners on base, you know, 
in these late innings. That adds more pressure to the defense, too, if it comes to you. First pitch to Breckenridge. Swing and a fly ball popped up high into right field, and that's going to be caught for out number one by Moss. That'll now bring up Brody Clifton. Brody, he is 0 for 2 today. Damian Comet on deck, so one down, two to go for the Mustangs. Clifton with that high batting stance. First pitch to Brody outside, ball one. It's a good take. Clifton back into the batter's box. And the 1-0. Down low for ball two. If you're Clifton and you're going to swing, it's got to be the one you want. It's got to be the one you hit the hardest. 2-0 on the way. Swing and a fly ball into right field. Moss makes catch, and the Outlaws are down to the final out. And it's Damian Common who has had a brilliant pitching performance. He's faced four batters and has gotten them to go out in order. Well, if you're Common, you just want to extend the game. It's the only thing you can do. You can't tie the game right here. But you can extend it, get it to the top of the order. Just keep passing the baton, keep passing the baton. Common, 0 for 2, first pitch to Common. Swing and a liner down in left field. And Common rounds first and puts on the brakes. And they throw it, throw it away. away. Common taking off for second. We'll see how much further he gets, and he's in standing up. And now Ryder Wilson. I mean, even if the first baseman catches it, he's three feet off the base. That's a break for the Outlaws. Well, we've seen the Outlaws put up runs with two down. You got to keep grinding, though. Yep. The only thing, though, is Files is only throwing four pitches in the inning. First pitch to Ryder Wilson with two down, a runner scoring position. Wilson chops that one down the third base line. Caught by the third baseman. Throwed in first is not in time. Ryder Wilson with an infield single and it's runners on the corners for the Outlaws. Keep an eye on Ryder to potentially steal. And now here's Walker Wilson representing the tying run. It's a pretty good play there at third base. As I think they're getting an explanation. I think they thought it was foul. Don't play, don't play. says not as Walker. That was Hedges at third who made that great play. This is a big at bat. If you can get Gavin up to the plate with an opportunity to tie the game as you'll have runners on base. Gavin Oliver, the runner at first, is in scoring position. First pitch to Wilson, and that is snagged by the second baseman. Throw over to second in time, and the game is over. Great play at second place by uh, Wright. And Manila, or excuse me, Lovell, We'll take the win. Final score, 5-2. to two. We'll be right back. Actually, we're moving right in toward Jimmy John's Freaky Fast Recap. Brought to you by Jimmy John's on 113 Front Street in Evanston. We're fast and fresh. Make your final score. It's level 5, Evanston 2. Because of that, level will play PAL tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. Evanston will play the loser of Cody and Green River at 7 o'clock. So it'll be another under-the-light game for Evanston, and for Evanston is quite simple. Win the next one and you're in, lose it, and your season will come to an end. For Level, they'll play PAL. If they win that one, they're in and will play for the district title. If they lose it, they will play Lander at 4.30. So the second day matchups are set. It's PAL and Level, Cody and Green River, and then we'll have to see what happens after that. And that sets up some interesting matchups and a, a potentially, I'm going to say it right now, a potentially heartbreaking matchup for the Evanston Outlaws tomorrow night. Yeah, I mean, you could say that all you want, but it's mm -hmm. about going to state. Yep. I, I know they're your friends in Green River, but you got to get rid of that thought. Like, yep. Coach Lale's a great guy, but, I mean, when you're out on the field, like, yeah. if you're worrying about having to eliminate your friend, yep. you're, you can't do that. Like, that's – you have to be ready to go, and it doesn't matter who's in front of you. You now have to beat them. Yep. All right, for the Outlaws, it's very simple. 
win and you're in, lose and your season comes to a close tomorrow. It's going to be some exciting baseball as Lovell wins this one 5 to 2. They put up one in the first two, uh, one in the second. Outlaws put up two or one in the second, one in the third to tie it up then Lovell outscores Evanston 3 nothing the rest of the way. Winner goes win goes the lay file, seven hits, seven run, or seven innings pitch, seven hits, two runs. One of them earned with six strikeouts to one walk. And for the Outlaws, Walker Wilson unfortunately takes the loss. Five and two-third innings pitch, six hits, five runs, five earned, six walks, and three strikeouts. Damian Common, though, in relief. One in an inning and a third with three strikeouts. Sat him down, saw four batters, and just sat them down consecutively. That's your Jimmy John's Freaky Fast Recap brought to you by Jimmy John's on 113 Front Street in Evanston where fast and fresh meet. Moving on to our Dr. McKay Franklin Precision Play of the Game brought to you by Dr. McKay Franklin Precision Dentistry for the whole family. Call 307-79-8910 for your appointment today. And uh, that is going to go to I'm trying to think of one that kind of stands out. There are so many great ones for the Outlaws. Probably Braxton Bauer with that single into right field to kind of get the Outlaws in a tie game back in the third. And uh, Braxton Bauer gets the Dr. K. Frank precision play of the game. I think we got to give that to Wright. I mean, he just ended the the game with a diving play up the middle. That's a great play. I he, mean, he'll get the honorable mention for level for sure. As we move on to our Pepsi player of the game, Braxton Bauer is your Pepsi player of the game. Two for two with a run scored, an RBI, and a walk. So Braxton Bauer is your Pepsi player of the game. Brought to you by Western Wyoming Beverages. Pepsi, that's what I like. We're going to stay on the air just for a minute longer as we wait. As I see Coach Nick Small approaching for the uh, Evanston Outlaws. But uh, Aaron, for the Outlaws, it's pretty straightforward. Winning, you're in. Yeah, you have to win. It doesn't matter who's in front of you. You just got to keep winning. As They catch a little bit of a break with the wonky tournament. I mean, we talked at large over the week about how this tournament is – it's a seven-man tournament, so it's a seven-team tournament, so you can't really – like. there's no perfect formula. But if you're the Outlaws as the two-seed in the, in the west – or excuse me, in the south, you catch a little bit of a break. So you just got to keep – yeah, got to go back and keep playing, keep winning. And we won't know who they'll play until later tomorrow. Yeah, of course, Evanston will play the loser of Green River and Cody. That game taking place at, I believe, 11.30. It's the first one tomorrow. So, And then they'll pl the loser of that game will play Evanston at 7 o'clock tomorrow. So final score, Level wins it 5-2 to two on the Heritage Auto of Evanston scoreboard. As we await the arrival of Nick Small, Oh, I don't see him. Uh, may he not be coming. Out. We'll give him a little bit more time, but if you're the Outlaws, your season isn't over. It's not time to panic yet, but now it is time to go win. Yeah, you got to play better. I mean, 5-2 is not a bad game, but a lot of walks came around to score, and we talk about throwing strikes. So tomorrow, I think the focus for the pitcher has got to be throwing strikes, nothing free. And here comes into the Union broadcast booth. We've got... Coach for the Evanston Outlaws, Mr. Nick Small, here on our post-game show. This interview, of course, brought to you by Jake Major with the Bullock Agency of Wyoming. Jake Major, for win, Bullock Agency of Wyoming, for win, benefits matter. And uh, Coach Small, um, not the way you guys wanted to start the postseason. Walks kind of came back around, but how about the performance by Damian Common in relief? Hey, you know, Damien's been throwing good strikes for us all year, and, uh, you know, go trust all the arms. What's the message to the team after this one, and what, how is the team feeling? What's the morale like after this one? It's a tough loss, but it's it's pretty straightforward now, winning you're in. Right. You know, uh, like I told him, short memory. Uh, come out tomorrow, you should have a little fire, a little pit in your gut to lock in and go get a win, continue playing baseball. Coach, well, we won't keep you very, very long, but – what is something that you feel like the Outlaws did uh, very well tonight that you're hoping you guys can carry into this this elimination game, this win in your in type game tomorrow night? You know, I thought we hit the ball really well tonight. We we barreled a lot of baseballs up that just happened to find the mitts of the other team. You know, you look at the stat line, we out hit them. Yeah. Right. Uh, we out hit them by one one hit. 
like you said earlier, it's the walks. Walks turn into runs, and I, they walked one of us. We walked six, and those are, walks turn into runs, and it's a hard hole to come out of three runs. You know, it's a it's a baseball game. Uh, very very uh, few mistakes. You got to capitalize on when you get the chance. So who are you looking for tomorrow to kind of step up and be that leader going into what could be an elimination game? You know, uh, Breckenridge's arm, we're going to trust his arm on the mound. He's been pitching well for us, and, you know, he comes out and has a day. I think we got really good chances. The lineup keeps hitting the ball like we are. Uh, hopefully we can time those hits up a little better when we have base runners on. Felt like we'd lead off with a single and then kind of duff it out there, but I'd like to see, you know, some base hits when we got runners on in scoring position. That's Coach Nick Small, head coach for the Evanston Outlaws here on the Jake Major with the Bullock Agency post-game coach's uh, press conference. Coach, thank you so much for the time. Uh, best of luck. You know we'll be pulling for you tomorrow uh, night. Anything else before we wrap this up? Yeah, we'll thank our Grand Slam sponsor tonight, Tom's HVAC, Union Wireless, Novus Glass, S Bar A Ranch, Kazines, Todd Hoover, Rocky Mountain Yeti, Sud Brothers. Thank you, guys. That's going to do it for our broadcast here of day one of the 2023 Single A Western District Tournament. And your final score again, it's level five, Evanston two. Evanston will play the loser of Cody and Green River tomorrow. That Cody Green River game taking place at 11.30 tomorrow morning. Evanston will play the loser of that game at seven o'clock tomorrow night. On behalf of our producer in the studio in downtown Evanston, we have the great Colton Bagley, our executive producer, the legendary Val Cook, our office manager, Kayleen Anderson, our sales manager, Matt Petrie, our sales associates, Julie Burley and Sarah Pay, and the rest of the staff at My Local Radio Sports. We have voice of the, uh, excuse me, voice of the Valley, <laughs> Mr. Dennis Bedwell. Voice of the Jackson Bronx, Mr. Jake Nichols. Voice of the Preston Indies in Idaho, Mr. Dan Hubbard. My good friend, voice of the Westside Pirates in Idaho, Mr. Cody Olson. Of course, my good friend and broadcast partner, voice of the Rich Rebels in Utah, Mr. Aaron Pulling. I'm Elon Off saying we'll see you guys next time the ball flies, which will be right here on MyLocalRadio.com and K9. Evanston taking on the loser of Cody and Green River in an elimination game. First pitch at 7 o'clock. Pre-game at 6.45. Aaron, I'm actually going to ask you to run over to that bracket and make sure that's correct. I just got a text for uh, uh, questioning that. So run over, if you would, run over to that bracket really quick. Um, it will. Uh, great game time for Evanston tomorrow, 7 o'clock. No, it's at 4.30. Oh, it will be at 4.30. So uh, that is in, uh, that was incorrect. So it will be at 4.30. Uh, so we'll be on the air at about 4.15. Thank you guys so much, and have a great night. The proceeding has been a wholly owned production of MyLocalRadio.com and Cook Brothers Broadcasting, LLC. No portion of which may be used or rebroadcast without the express written consent of Cook Brothers Broadcasting, LLC. Thank you for joining us for this sports presentation on MyLocalRadio.com.